Welcome back to Project Driveway. I'm Chris. And I'm Jake. And today we're leading you down the rabbit hole of DIY jobs, the uh, the gateway drug into this ridiculous world we like to work in, a do-it-yourself oil change. Anybody can change their own oil and we're gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna take you through everything that you could possibly be worried about with this job. Drain plugs, filling, what type of oil to use, especially depending on mileage. Without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna try to get this car on ramps. It will be Christopher behind the wheel putting these on the ramps because I'm no longer allowed to use them because I have been known to throw 2009 Hyundai Elantras off of them with uh, reckless abandon. Drop to it. Yay. A little more. All right, good. It's the small victories, Christopher, that I find most pleasing. Master footwork by. So we've got the car on ramps, ready to start draining the oil, which will be helpful because we're on a slight angle, so it should come out a little bit easier. We've got everything here that we should need. The proper grade of oil, this Acura RSX, uh, which is my personal car, uh, takes 5W30. Oil filter, this obviously just comes in a bundle from your local auto parts store. And for my car, it's a 13 mil socket to take the drain bolt off. In an ideal world, that should be all we need. I don't really want Jacob to pour his dirty motor oil all over my garage floor, so. Why not? Pan, love her. Just give that a slide on under your car and get to get stepping. If this is your first time draining your oil, the washer actually sits between the drain plug and the uh, oil pan. It prevents any sort of seepage coming through. If you're in the dark at all, just buy a replacement one and get ready to swap it out. If you've only used one once, you can flip it like to the other side to get a better seal, but keep an eye on it. I don't know if y'all can see back here, this is the actual back of the uh, oil pan and this is your fill bolt right back here. We're gonna have the pan directly under there ready as soon as we start loosening it. Um, it's not gonna take many turns in this car for the oil to start coming out. And obviously the drip pan under that to catch any stray sort of runaways. On the top of the engine, we're actually gonna loosen the fill cap. There we go, there's the word. Just to open the airflow so the oil comes out a little bit easier. It'll be fine regardless, but it'll take a little bit longer. It'll start to glug, which can sometimes overshoot mm. your uh, yeah, nobody wants a glug, all right? You know, just keep keep things where they need to be. All right. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Wow. All in the pan. Uh, well, slight casualty, but most of well, the Well, that was a bit from the glove, all right? Don't knock her, she tried her best. Oil is coming out. Thank God there's oil in there. Screwing the oil filter off its mount, as you can hear, there is a lot more oil coming out of it, which is why I do it slowly, even though half of it will end up in my suspension, practically. Ooh. Oh, okay, she's off. It's so dumb. I know someone's gonna drag me for how I do this. So, any reserve, just bring it on over to the drip pan. And there's Pour a nice out. little shelf in that particular drip pan. You can put it right on there. Oh, what a feature that is. Oh my God, get you one of those. Luxury. Never seen that before. I always buy the cheap pans. All the oil is out of the car. The first thing I'm gonna do is put the drain bolt back in. I don't wanna forget it. I don't want the classic horror story of forgetting the drain bolt and pouring brand new oil all over my driveway. So before I do anything else, I'm gonna put this back on. Come on, baby. Come on. Again, don't go crazy with tightening your drain plug. It doesn't need to be wrenched on there. Just. Tight enough. While I uh, screw the oil filter back on, Christopher's gonna start uh, filling himself here with this lovely Mobile One 5W30, a lovely flavor. All right, people, don't over tighten your oil filter. We made contact with the block. We're going three quarter turn past it, like just like the realm of hand tight. Don't go crazy. Christopher's got a lovely steady pour going on there. Synthetic generally flows better at lower temperatures. Apparently not as much as I would like through this very small funnel, but if we were doing this with conventional, honey, we'd be here all day. All the oil in, you got your drain plug on, you got your oil filter on, primed and ready to go. Just wipe those spills up and uh, she's good to go. At least for oil. There's about four other jobs that need to be done today, but that one is done. Genuinely, genuinely, Christopher. Look at me, I'm being genuine. Anyone can change their oil. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we've gotten you through the, at least the one job that everyone can do. And uh, if we haven't, make sure to let us know in the comments. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye.